children now see perfume some perfumes children do you know perfumes yes they will give good uh, scent smell okay good aroma some perfumes take their name from their ingredients ingredients means the things which are present in some flowers like uh, jasmine and uh, amiris jasmine and uh, amiris jasmine and uh, amiris even though their scents are attractive yes children when we see the smell of the when we sense the smell of that scent automatically we will attract care needs to be used when working with these plants okay so even though their scents are attractive children we should take a good care first one is amiris let's see first one amiris Amiris is used as a substitute for sandalwood. Okay, so sandalwood gives superb smell, children. So, in the place of sandalwood, Amiris is used. Since it's expensive to extract the latter ingredient, so sandalwood is expensive, children. So that is why in the place of to extract the latter ingredient means to extract the ingredient which gives the smell, good smell. So for, uh, for sandal, sandalwood is very very expensive. That is why in the place of sandalwood, Amiris is used. Jasmine. Next one is Jasmine. Children, do you know Jasmine flower? What is the color? Yes, white. The jasmine plant is revered for the very delicate scent it blooms, gives off. When it blooms children, it gives off the very superb smell. Uh, superb smell. Lavender. Next one is uh, lavender. Lavender children. Here see, the lavender plant is named after its purple blue flowers. So what is the color here? purple blue flowers so all these are the perfume names children amiris jasmine lavender next one all these are the products of the plants only next one is wood children do you know wood do you know take yes take wood and shisham what is that children take wood and shisham the other wood type of wood is shisham. So these two children, take wood and shisham are the types of hardwood. These are the types of hardwood. What are those? Take wood and shisham are the types of the hardwood. So here you know that plant gives us so many things like vegetables, fruits, okay, and food items. And apart from that, it gives perfumes. And we have seen the perfumes like Amiris, uh, Jasmine and Lavender. Now it is wood children. So there are two types of hardwoods. One is take wood. Second one is Shisham. Hardwood is the wood that comes from an angiosperm tree. So hardwood comes from angiosperm. Children, there are two types of trees. Angiosperms and uh, gymnosperms. So this hardwood, okay, comes from the angiosperm. Take wood is essentially sourced from Tectona grandis. So take wood. Next one is a take wood. It is sourced from Tectona. It's a scientific name, children. Tectona grandis is a scientific name of. It is a scientific name of take plant. Okay, so take wood is essentially sourced from Tectona grandis, the tree species which is native to South Southeast Asia, mainly India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Burma, and all these countries. This take wood is famous children. 
So once again I repeat, teak wood is essentially sourced from the Tectona grandis, that is the scientific name of teak, which is a tree species, which is native, that means this teak is present in the south and southeast Asia, mainly India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand and Burma. Now let us go for the uses of this teak. Teak is often used to make furniture. Teak is often see children take is often used to make furniture what is furniture children the benches the doors okay the cots okay sofas all these are the furniture children next one especially countertops the tops are there now that is called as countertops as well as indoor flooring Inside the flooring also you can go for the take children. Next one is veneer. It is a type of flooring. Carvings, cuttings, turnings and other small wood projects such as cutting boards. Take is also commonly used to make doors, window frames, columns and beams. Doors, window, window frames. Children, if you will observe the windows, frames will be there. So that frame is made up of the take. And the doors are also made up of the take. I mean, take is used for making doors, window frames, columns and beams. Columns and beams. So beams will be present, children. You ask when while well, constructing the beams will be present. So that is also made up of take. I mean, you can use take there also. So take wood, once again I repeat, is essentially sourced from Tectona grandis. That is the scientific name of teak tree species, which is native to South and Southeast Asia, mainly India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Burma. And this teak is often used to make furniture children, especially tops, countertops, as well as indoor flooring. Inside that, okay, you can use the flooring as uh, the take is used in the flooring also, children. One veneer, carvings, cuttings, turnings also and other small wood projects such as cutting boards. So cutting boards, carvings, turnings, flooring, all this is made up of take, children. Take is also commonly used to make doors, window frames, columns and beams, okay. Children, we have seen the take wood and uh, shisham, both are the types of the hardwood. And we have seen the take wood is the source from Tectonia grandis. Now, let us see, children, one more hardwood. This is a uh, shisham. What is this, children? Shisham is essentially a type of rosewood. So, this is a type of rosewood. This is a type of rosewood. It is sourced from a Dalbergia siso. What is this children? Dalbergia Siso which is a scientific name S-I-E-S-S-O-O -O. Dalbergia Siso species of trees which is commonly known as Indian Rosewood so this is commonly known as Indian Rosewood so this Sisham is commonly known as Indian Rosewood the trees are deciduous in nature and the wood is hardwood. What do you mean by deciduous? Here see children. Deciduous. And that means very thick children. Like bushy and it is very thick. Okay. So here the trees are deciduous in nature and the wood is hardwood. Shisham is also used to make veneers and plywood. So the vinyl will be there children, vinyls, that is called as veneers and uh, plywood, veneers and uh, plywood. So these will be usually used, these will be used in the furniture items, veneers and plywood. So once again I repeat this woods children. So here take wood and shisham are the types of hardwood. So this is the wood comes from an angiosperm tree. So there are two types of plants, angiosperms and gymnosperms. Okay, take wood is essentially sourced from the 
Yes, Tectonia grandis, which is native to South and Southeast Asia, mainly India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand and Burma. In these countries, the take is famous. Take is often used for making furnitures, countertops, as well as, yes, indoor flooring, veneer, carvings, turnings and small projects such as cutting boards. Take is also used to make doors, window frames, columns and beams. Next one is Shisham, another type of hardwood which is essentially it is a rosewood children. It is sourced from which is a scientific name of a plant called as Dalbarjia Siso which is commonly called Indian rosewood. And here the trees are deciduous in nature and the wood is hardwood. Shisham is also used to make veneers and plywood. Okay. Children, next one is cloths. Children, do you know that the cloths you wear comes from, yes, plants children. So here plants are the largest providers of textile and fabric material textile textile means uh, cloth children and uh, fabric these fabrics are used for curtains making curtains and cloths so textile textile and uh, fabric material these materials are used for making cloth which is only required by humans only human beings wear cloth children, not animals. Okay. The plant material like cotton jute. So what are the material children? Cotton and jute. So these are the two. Cotton, jute, etc. Contribute to ma manufacture yarn. What is yarn children? It is a spun thread used for making, knitting, weaving and thereby clothing. So once again see, cloths, plants are the largest providers of textile and fabric material. These materials, materials are used for making cloth which is only required by humans. The plant material like cotton, jute etc. contribute to manufacture yarn and thereby clothing. Next one you will see in this cloth first one it is given cotton. What is given children? Cotton see here. Children, do you know cotton? Yes, cotton cloths uh, usually gives comfort. Cotton comes from the plants that produce seed pods filled with ball shaped clumps of cotton fiber. So here if you observe the children, so the usually this cotton is white in color. This is white in color. Actually this cotton comes from the seeds. The seeds are black in color. The seeds are black in color. Comes from the plants that produce seed pods. Okay. Filled with ball shaped clumps. So the seed pods will be present. Inside the ball shaped clumps will be present. The seeds are separated from the cotton fiber mechanically. Now these seeds are separated and the cotton is used for making cloths. So the process continues by spinning threads. From the remaining seedless white fiber so here the process continues so this uh, separation of the cotton from the seeds continues by spinning the threads next by spinning the threads from the remaining seedless white fiber so first of all seeds is removed and next one the seedless white fiber next one is the spinning of the threads and the threads are woven to make cloth see children how this cloth will be made from the seeds so usually cotton is a white in color but this is it comes from the uh, seeds okay this comes from the seeds so cotton comes from the plants that produce seed pods fill it with ball shaped clumps so ball shaped clumps are present in that seed pods children and they are separated the seeds are separated mechanically and next one is the spinning of the thread will takes place and after that finally these are woven okay to make a yarn and finally cloth can be made so next one is hemp so after cotton next one is hemp so here see children hemp comes from the cannabis sativa plant what is this children cannabis 
Cannabis sativa plant. Hemp comes from cannabis sativa plant. And here it has used to make cloth since ancient times. Since old times, since previous times, since ancient times, this hemp is used to make cloths. In the 1980s, producers were able to make fine cloth suitable for making for clothing from hemp. So 1980s, the producers were able to make the fine cloth. The fine cloth can be made from the hemp only. So once again I repeat, hemp comes from cannabis sativa plant and it is used since ancient time. In 1980s, producers were able to make fine cloth suitable for clothing from hemp only. Next one is flax. Next one is flax children. See, uh, this cotton, this hemp, this flax are the cloth children. So uh, these are the fibers. Flax grows to a height of 4 feet. So this is the height of the 4 feet children. And has the leaves that consist of long tough fibers. So long tough fibers. Long tough fibers. B-E-R-S. Long tough fibers. Flax has been used since ancient times to make clothing. So this uh, hemp is also used since ancient time to make clothing. Flax is also used since ancient time to make clothing. So once again I repeat see children. Cotton, hemp, flask. These three are the okay, fibers. And cotton comes from the plants that produce seeds. See children, this is the cotton plant. So these are the balls like this, you know, inside the seeds will be present. The seeds are separated mechanically and after the threading will be there and making yarn and finally makes the cloths. Next one, hemp comes from the cannabis sativa plant used to make the cloths since ancient times. The fine cloth can be made from the hemp. Flax grows to a height of 4 feet and has leaves that consist of long tough fibers. Flax has been used since ancient times to make clothing. So these are the different types of clothing children. Okay. Children now see medicines. Many medicines. Children do you know medicine? Yes. When we suffer from any disease or when we fall ill, we take medicines. Many medicines we use for diseases like cancer, heart problems, blood pressure, mental illness, all these are derived from plants only. So what are the diseases? Like cancer. Okay. Like cancer, heart problems, cancer, heart problems, blood pressure, blood pressure that is BP and uh, mental illness and uh, mental illness so many diseases like uh, cancer heart problems BP mental illness all these are derived from plants medicinal plants have been a wide source of medicine required for human health so these medicinal plants are required for human health children. They cure many diseases. Further, these medicines from plants are very reliable due to their low okay, propensity, propensity for side effects. That means the medicines from the plants are very, very reliable. They are true. Why? Because the side effects will be very less. And also less toxicity. So, low, so say here children, low, low, propensity and less toxicity toxic means poisonous children on humans Indian medicinal plants are the essence of Ayurveda and Ayurvedic treatments children do you know Ayurveda the famous Ayurveda is Patanjali 
okay so ayurveda is nothing but uh, it is a treatment no doubt in that but from the plants herbs herbal plants okay are used and when used judicially and clocking with the basic principles they produce miraculous effects so when we use judicially and with basic principles they give miraculous results children their role cannot be confined to mere curative disease but they are also used a being of human body they are not only used to cure the particular disease but also they are good for human being understand now we have the list of medicinal plants children so let us see the list of medicinal plants first one drumstick leaves what is the first one children drumstick leaves so first one is drumstick leaves so this is a medicinal plant with these leaves will be used and second one is hummingbird tree leaves see children the variety names are there hummingbird hummingbird tree leaves first one is drumstick leaves second one is hummingbird tree leaves third one is radish leaves what is that children yes third one is radish leaves fourth one spinach fourth one is spinach these are leafy vegetables children spinach fifth one indian spinach fifth one is indian spinach indian spinach okay next one mint leaves children do you know mint yes mint leaves okay next one little hogweed leaves next one is amaranthus green amaranthus spleen amaranth so here not only these six children the seventh one it is given little hogweed leaves amaranthus green amaranthus spleen amaranth all these are the list of medicinal plants so once again i repeat many medicines we use for diseases like cancer heart problems bp and mental illness are from the plants only children derived from plants and they have been a wide source of medicine required for human health and these medicines from the plants are very reliable that means they are true because they are they are less propensity for side effect that means if you use that also the side effects mean effects are very less and next one less toxicity less poisonous indian medical indian medicinal plants are the essence of ayurveda and ayurvedic treatments so ayurveda is a branch of science where the treatment okay can be done with the help of the plants and herbal products when used judicially and clocking with basic principles they produce miraculous effects so their role cannot be confined to mere curative of disease that means they only they they not only cure the disease but they are good for human being and the list of medicinal plants are also i told like drumstick leaves hummingbird tree leaves radish leaves spinach indian spinach mint leaves little hogweed leaves amaranthus green amaranthus spleen amaranth okay